What is up my friends, welcome back to your average gentleman, it is your boy Evan. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing some of the accessories from Clocks and Colors. This is not a sponsored video, they reached out to me about a month ago and they asked me to pick out some of the accessories to check them out. I thought that their design looked pretty dope so I picked up two of them. They did send them to me for free but since this is not a sponsored video, I am also free to say whatever I want. And for this video, I am going to be judging these accessories based on their aesthetics, their durability and and their affordability. Make sure to stick all the way till the end because I will also be giving you my top three tips to choosing and wearing the right accessory for you. So without further ado, let's begin. As you can see from the intro, the box, it is just a black box with the logo on it. Nothing particularly special about it, but they come in this kind of a customized Ziploc bag, which is a Pretty cool. Anyway, box is not important. First up, let's get into its aesthetics, or rather, its workmanship. A little background, they are designed in Toronto, Canada, and they are handmade in Bali, Indonesia. Both the ring and the necklace are made of sterling silver. More on that later. The ring that I got is their homecoming ring, which is a very nautical looking ring with a swallow bird on the face of the ring and some wave patterns on the sides. Gotta say, the details are pretty good. You can see the eyes, the beak, the feathers, and you can also see the waves patterns at the side of the ring, which is beautifully cuffed. The necklace that I got is their crux necklace. It is much simpler. It is basically a cross with a rough finish. It looks like a beat up and battered piece of wood. The chain, however, is made of stainless steel, but the clasp is made of sterling silver as well. There's also a little bit of design on the clasp, which have that rough and beat up look as well. Which brings us to the very first tip of choosing accessories, which is to choose something that has a meaning. Now, of course, you can wear whatever you want, right? You can wear any jewelry just for the sake of wearing it or just for the sake of looking cool, but it is much, much better to have a meaning because jewelry other than a watch doesn't have a practical function at the end of the day. I mean, other than to look cool. So it will be even more cool if what you're wearing has a personal meaning to yourself, which can also be a great conversation starter when people ask you about it or compliment you about it. For example, I believe in Jesus, that is why I chose this cross. And I also like the fact that this cross, it doesn't look all smooth and glossy. It looks scarred and battered. Which reminds me, ultimately, a cross, it is a sign of suffering, right? The suffering that Jesus bore for us for our sins. And as for the ring, I really love and believe in what the swallow bird represents. The swallow represents love, care and affection towards family and friends. Showing the loyalty of the person always returning to their home and their loved ones. The swallow also represents everlasting love and loyalty and fidelity to their partner. They will choose a mate for life and they will only nest with their mate and no other bird. See, these are the kind of conversation topics that I can talk about when people ask me about my necklace or my ring. So I'm actually pretty excited to get this because these have personal meaning to me. So choose something that speaks to you, right? Something that you can tell a story about. So that is my first tip for you and back to aesthetics for aesthetics i'm gonna give the ring and the necklace the ring and the necklace a nine out of 10. Okay, up next, let's talk about its durability. The ring and the necklace pendant that I got are both made of sterling silver. Sterling silver is basically an alloy of silver containing 92.5% by weight of silver and 7.5% by weight of other metals, usually copper. Because silver alone will be too malleable and soft. So sterling silver is gonna be harder and more durable. I also like that the ring and the necklace pendants, it is not hollow. They actually feel really solid. They also feels pretty heavy on the hand, so for durability, I'm also gonna give it a 9 out of 10. Okay, up next, let's talk about its affordability. The homecoming ring retails at 165 USD and the Crux necklace retails at 190 USD. When it comes to whether it is value for money, it is really about how much you value its workmanship. Because silver, it is really not that expensive. It is about USD 81 cents per gram. This ring is 13 grams in sterling silver, which is around USD $9.75 in cost price. The necklace pendant is 18 grams in sterling silver, which is around USD $13.50 in cost price. Which brings us to the second tip to choosing the right accessory for you, and that is 
to experiment small. If you have never won a ring before, you're just getting into rings, you just wanna experiment, then I would definitely go cheap. Like super cheap steel rings, which you can easily find on Amazon or any online platform for like less than 10 bucks. For example, this super cheap steel ring that I got online, which literally cost me like six bucks. Although it may not have any meaning, but you're experimenting, right? You're finding out what works. Also, get to know your ring size, right? What ring size do you wear on each finger, which is very easy to measure by the way. Just take a piece of thread or a strip of paper and wrap around your finger and mark out the circumference of the finger on the piece of string or the piece of paper. And then you just measure the strip of paper. Anyways, if you already know what you want and you're looking for something to be your signature jewelry, something that you're gonna be proud to wear for the rest of your life, then definitely consider something that has a higher quality and a better workmanship. So anyways, back to its affordability at 165 USD and 190 USD, they are definitely not cheap, but it is also not like super overpriced considering its workmanship and its details. So for its affordability, I'm gonna give it a 6 out of 10. And overall, I'm gonna be giving it an 8 out of 10. Pretty good, not bad at all. Okay, last but not least, let's talk about the third tip to wearing your accessories, and that is don't overdo it. I know you often see on advertisements or celebrities wearing like three or four rings on each hand and it looks super cool, right? No doubt about it. But they are already cool. They can pull it off. But for the most of us, we can easily look like we are trying too hard. It is definitely gonna capture a lot of attention unless that is what you're looking for. So for me personally, I would only wear one or at most two rings on each hand and maybe a simple necklace. When it comes to accessories, less is more. But at the end of the day, you do you, man. There is no right or wrong when it comes to how many accessories you can wear. If you love it, Go for it. And that is it for today's video. Let me know down in the comments below what do you think of these accessories and what kind of accessories you love the most. And make sure to smash that thumbs up button to let me know, yo, Evan, I like this review, man. Click on to the subscribe button below and turn on the notification bell if you haven't done so already. Have a great day, y'all, and I'll see every single one of you in my next video. Bye.